Uh, let's see here. Yeah, it's all gone back there. And I actually had the heat on a little long. But it's pretty much what you want to do. And I actually got a little bit too much on here. Had some shaky hands, so this is kind of how you use this braid. Just heat it back up and just go over. Just rub over where you need to take some off. And uh, it's a pretty cool little deal. It'll just... Uh, there we go. And it'll just pull off any of that extra. And see, it just sticks to that braid. And you, you know, you just cut that off. So, yeah, I got a little bit too much on there. But basically, that's that. And it sucks it in there. It's pretty cool. Once, it, once you get everything up to heat, the uh, solder will actually flow into the contact. And... Uh, hook up with the wires and usually what I do is after a couple seconds I'll take this this sponge and just kinda touch on it to cool it off and uh, now we can pull it off here yeah, it's still a little warm I don't know if you can see the wire was starting to darken a little bit there I had the heat on a little long this is probably one of my not one of my better ones but as you can see the wires really solid in there uh, basically that solder flowed into there and got all that went, went into all that wire and uh, it's pretty solid so that's really what you want to do you just um, I have a friend who actually he has a little crimping tool and he'll crimp them and solder them um, I've had no problems with just soldering them just make sure you get plenty in there and uh, if you get too much you can always use this desoldering braid to to get it off of there so Next step, uh, we'll take that, and then you just want to take your uh, your uh, case here, or the actual connector, I suppose, and you want to make sure you have, looking at it from this angle, you've got that metal piece, and uh, we're going to have that facing up this way, and then you want this little loop facing towards the metal part, and what will happen is you just slide it in there and push it in, and it'll... You may have to use a screwdriver, especially with this lower gauge wire. Let me grab a screwdriver here. Just a real small, a, um, I'm going to use a 1 8 inch screwdriver here. Or sorry, a 5 64 screwdriver. And uh, what you can do is, once you've got it all lined up, push it in there. And then just take the screwdriver and press down on this, on this contact. There you go. That's in there pretty good now. And um, as you can see, it's got the connector has come in, and that little loop has gone over the, uh, the contact in there. I kind of make sure it's seated pretty well in there. So there's one. That's one power. The, uh, the red contact for the power pole. So hope this helps. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do the other one. Uh, if you want to see it again, um, and just take this, kind of strip off your insulation there, twist it up, and take your contact, slide it on there, get it pushed down in there, clamp it on. I'm gonna have to do the same thing with this one. This wire is a little bit too thin. And then take your soldering iron. And I'll try and zoom in on this one to see so we can really see that solder. It's not the greatest camera, so it's probably not going to focus that close. All right, that looks about as close as we can get. So this way you can really see the solder getting sucked in there. And let's see, so just put that on there. Kind of brush the solder on the tip, kind of between the tip and the contact. And my tip's dirty, but hopefully we can get through this without too much. There we go. See, I kind of went off the soldering iron and kind of got pulled in. So there now it's okay. I'm not getting great heat transfer here, but should be. Yeah, 
Uh, it's kind of beating up on me. I'm not getting good heat transfer. Let's see if I can use the side here. Before. So yeah, eh, it's been a while since I've soldered these, but that's the basic idea. Let me get this extra off here. That's eh, pretty sloppy too. <laughs> anyway, that's kind of what you want to go for. So I'm gonna come over here and kind of cool this off here. Try not to burn yourself like I do. I burn myself about every time I do one of these, and uh, it hurts pretty bad. So looking at it, yeah, that solders looks like it's gone all the way back and it's got it on there good. So it's getting stiff and then we'll take our other one of these and make sure it's cooled off all the way before we go sticking it into the plastic. And uh, just like the other one, we'll just take the loop side down towards the metal end on this and just slide it right in there. And use the screwdriver again and just push it down in there make sure I got it lined up here just hang on one second there we go yeah that one actually clicked so it's good and sturdy and uh, there you go so that's the black one done and get this little guy out of the way zoom out a little bit so now you just take both of these and uh, you want to get them oriented the same way as the ones you do on your speed control. And the, the cool thing about these power poles is you can actually um, kind of change your orientation because they've got these little links on them, these little connectors, little dovetail type deals. And you can, uh, you can put one like that or like that. And you just, it, uh, it's a way to, to make it so you can't, um, you know put it in wrong uh, I usually just do it like like this side to side um, that'll still keep you let me get one of my batteries and uh, I've actually got mine switched so like that and, and then you just take these little dovetails and they'll slide in together uh, it'll actually come with these little um, oh sorry these little uh, I don't know, they're little metal rods, and they'll go down in that hole right there, and that'll keep these from uh, sliding apart, and uh, you can just push them out with a screwdriver. Um, I used to, uh, on an older set I had, they didn't have the little uh, dowel, so I just glued them, put a little dab of super glue there, um, but that pretty much makes them very difficult to get apart. You'd have to use some kind of um, debonder on it, but... So there they are together, um, make sure I get my contacts away, and this is uh, one of my packs, and I'll kind of show you how these go together. And get the black end here, and this end, and I should probably zoom in. And I just want to make sure these two leads right here don't touch each other, because if I plug it in, I'll get those good and far apart, so the battery doesn't short. But yeah, you just take them and they'll just snap right together like that. And I think they work really well. Uh, they're pretty sturdy. Uh, the cool thing about these is, uh, as opposed to the Deans, is you can actually kind of reach down and uh, with one hand and disconnect them. Let's see if I can do it. And just kind of grab it, grab one end like that, and then just push up like that. And, that way, if you got your transmitter in one hand or whatever, you can you can undo them. So that's that. Uh, Dean's connector or power pole. Sorry, power pole connecting soldering. And as you can see, these are these are really tough. So I really hope that helps you, man.